Let's kick off the 10th year, the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. Welcome to Smith Lake, the kickoff to the North Division. Hi, everybody. Robbie Floyd along with Kay Donaldson. Kay, it's only befitting that this was the place of our very first ABT championship event. It was, you know, Smith Lake's always been a special place to the Alabama Bass Trail. You know, you can't come here and not uh, talk about the hospitality and everything that the chamber does for you and all the volunteers. And, you know, the fishery has really shown out in the past years. We've had a couple of great championships here. And, um, you know, we've had 23 and a half pound bags weighed here. And I think we're going to see some good bags today. I think it'll take probably 20, but the conditions always seem to be a fact at <laughs> this place. I mean, rain chances of rain today last year it was snow wind they always seem to have to deal with something but that's the great thing about starting off at smith lake it doesn't seem to bother the fish that much they don't mind the colder water they don't mind the rain so um, i think that's a perfect starting place for us and you know there were 225 teams that were ready to get after it this morning absolutely as they take off getting ready to catch their first bass there's a slot limit we'll be talking about as well between 13 and 15 they don't want to catch those but spotted bass and largemouth bass are are a plenty. Speaking of those first casts of the day, let's go out on the water. Our Academy Sports and Outdoors first cast of the morning. We are first tournament Alabama Bass Trail North Division this year here on Smith Lake. All the boats taken off. We got out on the water pretty early. Followed a team of Shannon and, and Roman Calvert right here behind me. We've gone uh, kind of up the, the west side of the lake. Pretty good ways. And uh, we're just getting started this morning. We expect to see a lot of fish catches. The key here is going to be what's, what's the mixture going to be between spotted bass and largemouth bass. Stay tuned. We'll figure this out as we see these guys on the water. I got boat number 81, Jeff Seabolt and David Seabolt. Guys, got any in your box yet? No, we just got started. Just getting started. What's the game plan the this morning? It's rough. All the boats still coming by. Yeah. We had to wait on it to calm down a little bit. We kind of sat around the corner and then come. Yeah. Out. How'd y'all do in practice? We done good. How many did y'all catch? We had a limit all over 15 in practice. Wow. That's good, guys. Boat 27, Scott Castleberry, Aiden Castleberry. A couple fish in the box. They hear about five pounds. That's a good start to your day. Yes, sir. How'd y'all catch them? Shaky head. Shaky head in the ditches. Fishing structure out here. Luckily, I got him in the boat. He's caught them all. You show them how to get it done, right? Yes, sir. Got to weed through all these slots, though. You like throwing a shaky head? Yes, sir. You like whatever's working, right? That's right. So this is Shannon and Roman Calvert. These guys are from this area, fish Smith Lake a lot, have a lot of success. Probably for the last three weeks straight, these guys have pretty much been winning any tournament they enter. Um, the BFL a couple weeks ago, uh, there's tournaments here every, at least every Saturday, if not every Saturday and Sunday. These guys consistently do well. So far from what I've seen this morning, it looks like they've Truly trying to pick up a, a lemon spot. The first area they were in is a real tight spot. It looked like a specific brush pile that they were fishing over. He caught one short fish, got hung up in the brush pile, didn't stay very long. This is their second spot. But you can see they're kind of uh, off out in the middle of this little creek creek, and look just roaming around. I'm sure they're looking uh, at their, their live scope, looking for these fish. Looks like they're slow rolling swim baits, maybe like a Demiki rig type bait. Hooked up. Can't tell how big this fish is. I see a pretty good one. He's keeping his rod down. It's in the net. That would be keeper number one for these guys. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Automotive, where it's always Bill Penny time, by Jacks, all about the South, and by Sweet Home Alabama. In 2009, it all started with this 721 Pro XP and a passion to build the best fishing platform in design, performance, and construction for all of our customers. 
Through the years, motors have changed. Electronics have changed. But the passion to build the best bass boat possible has not changed. Everyone at Phoenix believes we got it right the first time. Phil Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Phil Petty. Enjoy a 10-year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24-7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Phil Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. The perfect checking account doesn't exist. Not at a bank, that is. So why do you keep looking there? At Amfirst, you can get no minimum balance or monthly fees, an instant issue debit card, and free checks with unlimited check writing. But who doesn't want more? Like a rewards program you'll actually use, and convenient digital tools that make it easy to manage your account from anywhere. Now you could try and find that at a bank, or you could save yourself the trouble by checking with us. Stetson Blaylock! Todd Orton! Hank Terry! Let's go! Garmin Live Scope, I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Live Scope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! It's a short. Yeah, these guys are using live sonar and watching these fish and pitching down there to them. He's caught one pretty good keeper and just had the short. What y'all got? We got one small one right now. We run some ditches this morning. Uh, he's fishing on bottom and stuff. And trying to let these fish get woke up a little bit. Yeah. They're, they're starting to feel the drink here. There's a lot of bait out here. There's some big ones right back out there. We couldn't get them to bite this morning, but it usually takes just getting daylight a little bit. Yeah. Are they hugging right to the bottom? No, they're uh, suspending. Uh, water column. We're in 83 foot right here. Yeah. And they're sitting in about 50 to 20 above the timber. We've got a couple better schools found than this, but I just don't want to get to them too early. Well, I had to find out who that boat was that we saw catch the double at distance. Boat number 11, Chris Swindle, Paul Ernest. That's the way to get it started. I pull up into a pocket, I see you catching fish. Those aren't your only fish, were they? We've got five, but we don't have the five we need. Hey, we've got the first limit of the day that we've been able to see, so that's good. So how much do your five weigh? About 11 pounds. 11? Great start, though, right? That's correct. That's right. Something to build off of. 
All right, um, one of those kept, right? The other one didn't there at the No, I called. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Um, what have y'all been doing today? What caught those first five? Uh, we've been catching stuff on a Ned rig and a jig. Ned rig and a jig. You chasing bait? Chasing, chasing these fish? Hearing. They're chasing here. Moving around a bunch, you stay in the same pockets and just sticking with those? Just moving around, easing around, trying to stay with the bait. Who's caught more, you or him? Big man. <laughs> So I've talked a little bit about the blueback herring. Blueback herring is kind of unique in the fact that uh, they can actually live in salt water and live in fresh water. I, I guess because of that, they, they have a tendency of roaming out in open water, kind of what you would expect to see, you know, and saltwater fish do. And this lake is, has had the herring in now for, for several years, and it's made a, a really big difference, especially with the spotted bass. And, and there's, there's regular um, shad in here as well. It's not the only bait that's in here, but it, it's, it's something special to them. When the herring are around, that's what they really key on. And it's, uh, it's helped the growth of the spotted bass. This, this lake is much better now than what it was six to 10 years ago. These spotted bass, you can usually tell after you first set the hook if it's a better fish or not. You'll get, kind of get a good head shake out of them. I think that's gonna be keeper number two. Uh, another hook set. So this is Shannon and Roman Calvert. I don't know which one's which or two bundled up to tell the difference between the two from this distance. All right, I think that's gonna be another keeper. So that should be keeper number three for these guys. Will it be the right size? Go from no to maybe need a net. Hey, well, I said it might be the right size. I mean, that looks like a pretty decent one right there. It's not bad. <laughs> I think it's gonna help you. Yes, sir. This portion of Alabama Bass Trail TV presented by Phoenix Boats is sponsored by Garmin, by Academy Sports and Outdoors, and by America's First Credit Union. There's more right after this. Buying stale burnt coffee is like eating hot sushi out of a vending machine. It's just a no-no. An explosion. Cool guys don't look at them. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we take massive pride in giving back. And with your support, we've donated millions to charitable organizations and veterans. <laughs> Do you have a lightsaber leg, Jay? Yeah, I got a lightsaber leg. When you sign up for our coffee club, you get fast free shipping directly to your door. I'm on a helicopter. Looks like boneless wings are back at Jack's. Juicy, boneless chicken wings in three bold, mouth-watering flavors. And people love them so much, there's bound to be a napkin shortage. Jack's, all about the South. Hear that sizzling? That's bologna whispering, I'm back. The big bologna breakfast sandwich is back at Jack's. Two thick cut slices of fried bologna, eggs, and cheese on Texas toast for $3.99. Jack's, all about the South. Over or under. Pretty 
tough this morning. That's it. You got any live well? Just got one short one. Okay. It's been hadn't really went the way I wanted to. Right. So I'm assuming you had a better practice time. Yeah, we thought we we thought by now we'd be pretty good. It hadn't worked out yet. Right. I got Ryan and Fisher Anaya. Yes, sir. Just caught one short. Uh, Ryan just caught one that's gonna keep. I think that puts us two fish in the box at this point. We got another fish on. We saw the guys in front of you get their limit a second ago and or, or help their limit. You finally got yours. It, it looked like you had a little little move back here. Did that help you out a bit? A little bit. Two and a quarter, man. Two and a quarter. That's all right. Boat, boat 211, Damian Willis, Tyler Cocker, the Smithwick Lake winners last year. What'd that one come on? Crank bag. Crank. Okay. Changed it up a bit. It's always good to have that limit in the boat, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. We got one under I'd like to get rid of. One on the under, under 13 inches that they'd like to get rid of. A couple of overs we need to get rid of too. <laughs> small overs. I'd rather have a small over than a big under probably. But it's always good. I mean, 930 and you got your limits. I mean, where do you think that puts you at now? Close to nine. Yeah. Eight and a half. Not much. About nine or so. So it's a small limit, but it's a limit. I mean, you've done this before, you've won this before. It's hard to leave fish that are biting, but you know you need to upgrade. What What are your thoughts? I mean, what what goes through your mind at this point? Because now you at least do have that limit. Kind of makes me want to get out in that wind and try to catch a big one in a little bit. Here we are with the boat uh, 94 with Packy Lawrence and Jeremy Holton. Just pulled up on him and catches a keeper. I'm assuming it's a keeper. Looks like he's measuring it. See if he keeps it or throws it back. No, he says it's too short. How many you got in live well now? Uh, we got all slot fish. All slot fish. So North Division regulars, Craig Daniel, Jackie Flack, boat number 193. I pull up and I couldn't hardly tell who you were. You were so wrapped up. It's chilly out here. I always expect y'all to catch fish, and you got two in the boat, but these are not the size you're looking for. No, sir. They ain't. Not yet. What do you think these two weigh? Three and a half pounds. They're just 15 inches. It'd be nice if you had two three and a half pounders. Oh, yeah. That's what we're fishing for. <laughs> What's going on today? Uh, what's not been working? Uh, I bet you can catch them any way you want to, but the best way to catch them is just on these little, we call them these little clay points, but. So no size up there cranking. You thinking, okay, you seeing fish much on it? Are you looking at your graph or are you just doing do the old fashioned way? Right now, mostly just fish. Yeah, it's like, it looked like you were just doing to the old fashioned way. Well, that's the pipe to the bottom right now. It's hard to see them. We caught them a lot of ways in practice, but just never, we ain't got on no big, big bunch of them. We ain't fish. Yeah. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee Company, by TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor, and by Mountain Dew. There's more to come. The TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydra Wave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. Research and development is more than just time in the shop for us. It's time out here. Sweating the details making boats that work as well in the real world as they do on paper. From our R&D team to our anglers on the water, 
we have the knowledge and passion to build you the finest fishing platform in the world. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. Swindle, Paul Ernest, boat number 11, saw him out on the water today. Let's find out what they actually had. They thought they could be up around that 14-pound range. They need 11.78 to take the lead. 16.80. We've got a new leader. Stand over here, guys. Good job. Tell me how your day got started. Uh, slow, actually. We didn't catch nothing the first two hours, so then they finally picked up, and we finally figured out what they were doing, So, and we caught fish steady all day. Our team of Charlie Craycraft, Ben Miller, just crossed the stage at 12.92 uh, pounds, and you also had a uh, fish that was 4.3. First, tell me about that fish. Uh, came in about 30 foot of water, saw it on live scope. Uh, wish we'd had its sister. It, it came up with it, but uh, we'd already had a limit, so we had to make sure we called one before we caught it, too. So, But uh, it was a good day. Caught a lot of fish, a lot of different ways, so a lot better in practice. We need 1680. Chris Swindle, Paul Ernest in the lead. We don't have 1680. We've got 1685, a new leader on the Alabama Bass Trail. Who would have thunk it? What were you catching them on today? Uh, jig and crankbait. Jig and crankbait. It's that easy, right? Anybody can do it. Yeah, yeah. How many total fish y'all catch today? Uh, we probably caught 30 fish. Oh, man. Y'all were on. Y'all were doing something right. Yeah. So it's not just, you know, the what you were doing. It's where you were doing, right? How many different locations you catch these fish at? Uh, we fish in the same area all day long. Y'all had a good day, and it's a good thing we stopped now. Then we need 1685 to take the lead. 1669. So darn close. Uh, when we first pulled up to our area, I mean, we, we were just expecting to get a couple bites here and there, and it actually just didn't happen from the start. Um, maybe 40 minutes into it, not too far into it, we got a bite here and a bite there, and it really clued us into what we felt like was going on, and we were dead on, and, and man, it just, it just went from there. Terry Tucker, Jeremy Green, boat 209. Got five fish, a good wait. Hang on, Aaron, wait before you click it. We need 1685 to take the lead. We might have a new leader. We do have a new leader. 1755, Terry Tucker and Jeremy Green. That's what I am talking about. And Caden said, I hope somebody catches a 17 or 18 to make them feel better. You did just that. How did you catch this much weight? We caught most of them in the corner of the mouth. Pretty, yeah. Pretty early. What kind of bait was in the corner of their mouth? We caught everything cranking today. John Kellett, Zeke Gossett five fish let's find out what they got come on over here sir got a big bag let's find out what that big bag hey don't stand there the weight's gonna go down if you come over here quick 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 hurry let's find out they need 1755 to take the lead Kellett and Gossett 1788 we've got a new leader 
Well, Kellett and Gossett, a new team and new winners on the Alabama Bass Trail. What a great way to start the year. You know, we always like to see new teams come to the Alabama Bass Trail. We had 70 plus in this division and a new team took home the championship. It has to feel good leading the angler of the year, taking home a ton of money for a single day tournament. The conditions, horrible. That victory makes it feel better, doesn't it? It, it yeah. was miserable out there, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but winning that money and yeah, taking the victory. It was it, worth it. Yeah. It a little bit. Is there one thing that you keyed on that, you, that kind of paid off for you today that enabled you to win? We figured out a little bit in practice, and both of us just said we're going to grind it all day no matter what and swing for the fence. At 1030, we had one fish in the boat. Yeah, being, being hard-headed paid off today. Yeah. It's not how you start, Kay. It's how you finish. They proved uh, to keep fighting at it, isn't it? Uh, now they're anglers of the year leaders with only four stops and reigning. That, that's a big feather in the cap too. It certainly is. It's always good to walk away from the first tournament with a you know with a good handle on points. Um, but there's a lot of tournaments left. But these guys are not any strangers to the lakes that we're going to. So I look for them to uh, stay tight in that points race. Well, let's get away from the bad weather of the north and let's head south to Lake Martin, the first stop of the Alabama Bass Trail, presented by Phoenix Both South. Division here on Bally Sports Southeast.